All right, let's continue with part B. We have uh, x equals 2 sine uh, 2 theta and y equals uh, 3 sine uh, theta. Um, and we're going to find, again, the, uh, the self-intersection of uh, the curve. And please go ahead and uh, plot uh, uh, the parametric equations for part B and uh, have your TA84 with you, obviously. And, and, and you can pause the video any, any minute here and, and just uh, get a good visual of uh, 2 sine 2 theta and 3 sine theta. And, and I'm going to show you what I got here. Uh, it's a ribbon shape. Okay, so uh, and the self intersection happens at the origin. Okay, so uh, and without graphing this, it's it's very hard to, uh, to find those self intersecting points. Uh, you have to graph it, and you have to keep your uh, t min t max to be large enough so that you can actually see the full picture of this graph. Okay, all right. So uh, since this happens at t equals zero, what is uh, uh, sorry? Since this happens at the origin. Uh, origin means like you have uh, x and y to be exactly equal to zero. This is a self intersection or, or the curve crossing itself. And I want to find uh, out what theta value corresponds to that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is to set the x and y's to zero and then solve this for theta. Okay. You have sine 2 theta equals 0, sine and sine theta equals 0. And go ahead and look at uh, inverse sine 0, arc sine 0 in each case, and you should be able to see that theta has to be 0. Okay? And, and, and there could be like different uh, uh, Theta values for which x and y equals zero, but we're we're, we're looking at the principal domain here. So in fact, uh, we have uh, uh, like if you plug in zero for sine, that's sine zero, that's equal to zero. But we have also pi and two pi uh, uh, and, and and three pi and so on. Uh, and you can go ahead and then write pi as well or negative pi. Uh, but all I'm trying to say is that you know the, the self intersection happens. Uh, at various locations because uh, this graph is periodic so you have one loop uh, happening like this and probably another loop is going to happen the same way it's copy based uh, paste type stuff and, and, and for that reason I'm just going to work with uh, 0 and pi at, at this moment okay uh, for finding the tangent lines all right so let's check out uh, dy over dx here and I'm going to use the same trick of dividing the top and the bottom by d theta and now I can take the individual derivatives of y and x okay and I need two different slopes right uh, let me just clean this up I need two different slopes one is at 0 And the other one is at pi. Okay. So what do we have for that? Uh, for m1, let's see, theta equals 0. m1 is going to be 3 times uh, cosine 0 divided by 4 uh, times cosine 0. That's 3 quarters because cosine 0 is 1. Use your calculator, by the way, uh, if you're, you're TI-84. Uh, set it to radian mode and, 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 and do those calculations. Uh, theta equals pi, uh, well, uh, 3 times cosine pi divided by uh, 4 times cosine 2 pi. And cosine pi is negative 1, so it's negative 3 at the top. And cosine 0 is 1 and 4 in the bottom. Okay, so 3 quarters and uh, uh, plus minus, in fact, uh, 3 quarters for, for the slopes, okay? All right, so I have the points. Uh, I have the point, in fact, the self-intersection point, uh, 0, 0. We're going to go ahead and write down the equation of uh, uh, tangent lines, and I have uh, two of them, right? So tangent line 1, tangent line 2, okay? And y minus the y entry equals the slope times x minus the x entry uh, of the point. And y minus the y entry and the slope times x minus the x entry of this point. 
So in one case, you get 3 over uh, y equals 3 quarters of x. And in the second one, you get negative uh, 3 quarters of x. Okay? So can we verify that? Yes, we can. One comes with positive slope, and the other one comes with a negative slope. And as you see, this one is the one, uh, 3 over 4 times x, right? y equals 3 over 4 times x. And this one comes with the negative slope, that is y equals negative 3 quarters of x. Okay? So this is us visually verifying that we got the uh, uh, right uh, slopes uh, through our calculations and, and, and the tangent lines uh, match uh, all the way uh, uh, with the blue curve, which is the curve uh, corresponding to the parametric equations x of t and y of t. All right? I think that takes care of part B, and this was a relatively shorter uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.